Hey guys, it's 1.06 p.m. on Thursday, April 15th, 2021. Alright, so today I am using mostly, um, not really, okay, I'm not going to say a specific brand, but I got two Too Faced palettes here. I have not used these in a while. The Too Faced Cocoa Contour for blush and Too Faced uh, Natural Matte Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm going to use the Il Maquillage Primer and the NYX Photogenic uh, HD Studio Photogenic Concealer in CW02 Fair. Um, sorry, I'm watching my cat. And the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation in the shade... Nude, which is six and a half. I went for one shade darker, and I think it works great for me, but that could be just me because I'm a dummy. Sorry, I was watching my cat for a minute, watching what she was doing in that box. Like, she better not think that's a litter box. <laughs> it looks like she's just laying in it, hopefully. <sighs> the box has makeup in it and my jacket underneath there. Because uh, that would be all kinds of horrible. I would have to just throw it all away. Okay, she, she knows it's not a box, but okay. We're going to get started now. Also, I need to warn you guys, I have bad vision. Uh, my right eye is worse than my left eye, so I'll be using this mirror a lot, but I'll try to position myself to where you can see me, at least like this. Um, I'm wearing my apron. This area is a little bit more organized than my normal makeup area. Because at least I can hang my apron right here on this black um, basket organizing thing. It has purses and stuff on it. I'll show you later. So it's probably the oldest concealer I have in my collection. Also, in advance, if I had to spit, I'm sorry. Sometimes I had to do that. But yeah, that is probably literally the oldest concealer I have, because it is starting to lose its color. And it's probably about empty. But I do have another one similar to it. It's one shade darker than this. I do also like the advantage that I can literally just reach right here and put everything back the way I had it. At least. So I don't lose it. I have to put the uh, eyelash curlers up. I don't hardly use them, but I literally have six pairs. I don't even know how that happened. So we're going to try to use my concealer brush today. This is an incredibly small one, I think, but it's not really a bad one. It's just too small for my under eye. So sometimes I take the foundation brush, which is really a contour brush. But I don't know how to contour, so I started using it as a foundation brush, and uh, I just uh, use it to blend in the concealer, because this is probably the most time-consuming concealer brush that I have. I do have other ones, but I don't know where they're at right off, first of all, second of all. I don't know where they're at, to be honest. I actually have two like this. I have another makeup brush kit like this. It's brand new, and it hasn't been opened yet, I don't think. No, it hasn't. My sister gave it to me. Let's see here. Yeah, that looks a little streaky. I'll have to go in with the foundation brush and do it. On that side. I'm very tired, you guys. Like, I don't even know what to do with myself. I'm tired. 
Last night, I literally did not get to sleep until about 4 a.m. And I laid down at, let's see, 1.30, 2 o'clock. That goes to show how bad my sleeping habits are. But you can't sleep if you can't sleep. I don't care what time of day it is. Or night. Well, I don't really consider day and night separate usually. Because if you can't sleep, you can't sleep. You know, like I was cursed with a sleeping disorder that if I didn't take my sleeping medicine, I wouldn't sleep at all. Even though it sometimes never kicks in. So that's why I got rings around my eyes. I look pale tired in the eyes. But I picked up a few tricks on how to uh, wake up a little bit during the day. If you're going to do something productive, like for example, this is not really productive, but this is something you have to do every week, like I got to do today. Laundry, right? You're too tired to even do laundry. What I do is I sit and watch TV most of the day. You ever wonder why I'm mostly watching TV or sitting on my couch while filming? It's because I'm tired, okay? One thing that'll wake me up is when a storm alert goes off. It'll wake me right up, like, oh shit. We have to take cover or something? You noticed last night that I, uh, didn't rebraid my hair the way I have been braiding it? I used a different shampoo on my hair. I used the shampoo that matches the, uh, thing. I was going to use the El Maquillage Primer. I completely forgot. I, I'm so used to not human, using primers, human, using primers that I completely forgot it was sitting there. I'm so sorry. But I will use it. I have used it before. It is a good primer. I've used the El Maquillage Foundation as well. My sister lent it to me to use, but she uses probably about this much foundation a year. And that's how little she uses foundation. But I love this foundation. Like This is like one of my go-to foundations. This is probably my fourth or fifth bottle in the last, let's say, one year or two years that I have been wearing makeup with the brand NYX. I've been wearing NYX since 2017. I discovered it from um, makeup artist Crystal Lindy. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie, my original intention with NYX was to try and enter in the NYX Face Awards, but then I thought, you know what, if I decide to enter, I mean, that'll be for a later time. But right now I got more important things to focus on. And would it be nice to enter and win, or at least get in the top ten? Yeah, but it's not going to happen, probably. Don't get me wrong, I do still support NYX very much, and support the people who have won. I love watching people win makeup contests. But yeah. It's just... I mean, I don't think I can do it, but also it's because I don't have a camera. I'd say I don't have a computer, but you've seen me open one up for Christmas, and I do use it from time to time. I bought a laptop. I mean, it's my first laptop since I was literally about 14 years old that lab that laptop got stolen from me so all I would need is a good quality camera I already have a tripod but it actually is broke so I would need a new one 
But you can actually buy them at TJ Maxx for a fairly good price. It's where I got uh, the phone tripod. I, sh well, I didn't show you, but I'll show you again. Maybe I did in the try of the intro video. Hold on. I do have enough makeup here to do a full face of NYX, but I wear NYX a lot, and I don't hardly ever touch these two palettes. And they are beautiful. And I love Too Faced, like... It is also one of my favorite brands. I have so many favorites, it's unreal. Let me touch the other side of my face now. Let me get that spread out before it dries in place. Well, this foundation does usually dry pretty quickly, but I think as it, um, as I like to say, ages, it gets a little more watery, so it takes a little longer to dry. Alright, I think I got it spread out enough. Let's see what's on my lips. And my makeup wipes are not over here. Wait, I can reach them. Hold on. Okay. Got them right here. I used them to clean out a uh, case yesterday that I thought about selling, but... When it comes down to it, if my parents notice anything missing, it's going to be the makeup cases. So the makeup that I have in some of the cases is what I listed. I listed them as a lot. I'm like, you know what? I just want to get rid of it fast in my mind. I'm just thinking, you know, let's just get rid of it. And I'm not here to endorse myself or, you know, something like that. It's just, you know, why not just go ahead and list it as one lot? You know, I could get rid of it, make a little money, and make someone else happy. 98% of it has not been touched. Like, at all. Okay, I don't think this blush brush is suitable for what I have to do with that palette. I'm still going to use these brushes. I just need to get a different brush for the blush. And boy, do I got plenty of them. Somewhere in here, I've got a nice... Oh, wait, it's down in here. I think. Oh, hey, look, here's the brand new Luxie set. Here's what I was looking for. This one. Moda. All of my Moda brushes are in here. Even if they don't match this set. I use this set and that set sometimes. This is what I was looking for, the angled part. Because I am going to start with the blush. Like, I've been trying to get into the habit of that. Because I notice that my blush turns out very uneven. I mean, I try to get it as even as possible. And look at these pretty colors. They're really pretty, but they come on very pigmented. So I have to be very careful of what I do. And they smell so good. They definitely smell like cocoa. So I'm going to use the colors. Um, medium highlight and deep highlight mixed. Like this.
Okay, so we're going to try and do this. This is mostly the medium highlight color. You can't tell. Please, please don't fall. Very expensive palette. So let's start on this side. You can't hardly see it. Let's add a little bit more of the other one. Okay. I knew that would happen. I didn't mean for it to get on my arm, though. Okay, now you see how we got a little bit of definition right there? That's what I want. Gotta repeat the same process on the other side. Hold on. Weirdly, I'm gonna say this, and I don't want to be kicked off YouTube for it. It does taste like cocoa too, but I don't want to take the risk of swallowing it. So I wanted to spit it out. Thankfully, not a lot got in my mouth. Same process, almost. Let's turn toward the light. Even though I can see the side of my face better. I may actually add a highlight to this too because I feel like this is not really that even because I like literally don't have the best lighting in here which kills me because I got three floor lamps and one of those floor lamps has a little lamp that hangs over the desk or could hang over the vanity and for some reason I'm too lazy to carry it over here. It's like two feet. Maybe three. I gotta find out the wattage of the bulb and buy one and everything. Plus it doesn't just feel like me when I don't have just shimmer on my when I have just regular on my cheeks. I love this palette. It's very pretty to look at and very, very good to smell. So I'm going to take a Too Faced highlighter. I actually have two of these Too Faced ice cream highlighters. Very good smelling and look, very pretty colors. Sorry about the lighting, by the way. When the height lit. When the light hits this, it is hard to tell what will happen. So we're going to try to just dip into the pink. If it'll let me. Let me. Please don't fall. Even though I got two of you, I still only want to use one of you. Let's add a little bit of highlight to it. These faces I'm making, I feel like they help add the natural vibe to your eyes or your face, whatever you're doing. Even if you're not using a fan brush, but mostly when you're using a fan brush, it's probably better to do your look this way.
I'm kind of feeling like today is a no eyeliner look, but we won't know because sometimes I screw up and get the mascara on my lash line. Alright, so we're going to put this back up. I forgot to put the foundation up too. I need to do that before it falls into the ground and breaks. And I get really upset. Not that anything's hitting it, I just don't want it to get broke. This is still a black bottle. I don't care if I just lay it there. Alright, so. Now we're doing the eyes. This... It's going to be a challenge, probably. Too Faced Natural Matte Eyeshadow Palette. And I got these pretty colors to choose from. None of these are shimmery either, but I'm okay with no shimmery eyeshadow sometimes. I'm going to do my brows real quick. Come on. That was gross. Sorry, it was gross to look at too, but it was grosser to taste. I need to learn how to use that eyebrow shading thing that my mom got me. She said, be careful. You could take your whole eyebrow off. I said, as fast as my eyebrows grow back in, I think they would grow back in within like a month. And they probably would. They'd probably be like this thin, but they would grow back in. This thin, I meant to say. Okay, so. We're going to use the color Risky Biz. Ooh, natural. And... Lace Teddy. I love Lace Teddy. That's a beautiful color. Alright. I had one of my uh, little... I call them cotton runs on the stick for the eyeshadow. Eyeshadow rounds, whatever. Andy, I would show you the look I kind of did in school because it was with a palette similar to this one. But it was by a different brand. Alright, so we did that one. Now I'm going to do Ooh Natural, Ah uh, Natural, Ah uh, Natural, whatever that word is. I'm sorry, I pronounced trouble pronouncing it.
here. I thought somebody was texting me. I need to get a new phone. It vibrates for no reason. And when someone does try to call or text me, it doesn't vibrate at all. Like, it's like, what? Okay, so we're using um, Lace Teddy. This is probably my most favorite color out of this palette, out of the lighter colors. My favorite darkest one has to be Sexpert. Alright. Okay, so we're done with the eyeshadow. Now I need to do the mascara. Actually, I had to pick one first. I got probably a hundred in here. I think I'm going to try this one by Pretty Vulgar. My sister gave it to me. No, do not fall. That would be a mess to pick up. This mascara bag, I need to dump it into a bin to go through it. This is my original makeup bag. Okay, so... Before I do all that, I'm going to set my face in place with the MAC Fix Plus. I'll be getting a new one for my birthday, hopefully. Hold on. Alright, so we're going to um, hold my lashes out. I got two of these. I got a black one too. These you can easily wipe off, so you don't really need to replace them with like um, a new one every few months. I originally lost my first one, which was this one. And then the same day I bought the other one, I ended up finding this one under the couch. Now we're going in with the Pretty Vulgar Mascara. This is the Pretty Vulgar Fox Reels Mascara. Got the Hourglass Shaped Wand, like my other favorite brand, Too Faced.
보면 Okay, so now that we're done with the eyes, I need to wipe this off and wipe off my lips with a makeup wipe. Okay, now this is always a good thing to do because look. I know you can't see it very well, but there is some stuff uh, sticking up from the mascara. And it will get down into... Onto the area that... I guess you could say twist, like right here. And it will become very... Very hard to open eventually. Like with nail polish. I kind of wish I had nail polish remover wipes that were pre-soaked. So you could just do this with your nails. Um... That would be a great thing to patent, like, I mean, they probably already do have them. Because I am actually practicing nails, but I don't want to, sorry, show anything until I do get good at it. Okay. Now all I gotta do is apply some lip gloss and well I think I'm gonna go for a liquid lipstick today because I feel like that will stay more obviously and I'm putting the mascara up real quick I'm gonna go through this mascara bag again because I know I won't use all these mascaras like I probably in total use Four, maybe eight, not eighty four. And my favorite one is in my other makeup case, the one that has my usual daily makeup in it. Okay, you can put this back up now. That's what I like about this black thing being right here. It's always got my apron handy. Alright, so. I need to put on some lip gloss or chapstick. I've got Pepsi and Milk Duds, weirdly. And I've got Vaseline and EO Sandy. So I'm gonna go for do 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 do. Probably Pepsi today, because I ain't used it in a while. You can tell I ain't used it in a while either. It's kind of old looking, but we're gonna see. This Milk Dud one, I'll tell you where I found it. At my local food fair. I cannot believe I found it there. It was literally like a dollar and fifty cents. I know that's like really expensive for a chapstick, but you know what? It was worth it because it does smell like Milk Duds, I think. I love getting chapsticks like this for Christmas. Because that's the only time of the year my parents will buy them. It's like Christmas or my birthday. Lucky for me, my birthday is 28 days away. So, yeah. I just may actually get some. Alright, so I'm going to use the NARS liquid lipstick in the color Star Woman. I love this color. I wish I had a bigger color of it. 
And it actually kind of matches to the theme of today's outfit because I'm wearing red jogging pants and the Led Zeppelin logo is red. Sorry for talking about it. That's not against YouTube policy, I hope. So we're going to do this. This is an awfully tiny one, though. This was definitely a travel size or trial size one. And look, it's a beautiful red. So see? Uh, I don't think I did that right, but it's okay. The only thing that sucks about red lipstick is when it leaks, it leaks all over the place. Like, it looks like you got blood on your lips, or on your mouth. And when this dries in place, it'll be stuck there until I use micellar water on my lips tonight. Okay, so I am done. Oh. Sorry, my chest cap is hurting a little. It hurts. Um, anyway, it is now 1.45 p.m. Um... Alright, great. You have a wonderful day. Peace. If you're new, please subscribe. Bye-bye.